Hello and welcome to the Minerva Primary Academy presentation about starting school in our reception classes. Normally this presentation would be done at a meeting in school, but as we're not able to do that this year, we hope this will answer some of your questions. Here are our senior leaders at Minerva. Mr Hallam, our principal, Mrs Harvey, our vice principal, and Miss Roden, our assistant principal. Miss Roden is also our lead for children with special educational needs and disabilities. Here are the office staff you will see most often when you come to the school office through the main entrance. They are Mrs Molly Wilson and Mrs Claire Westbury, and they'll be happy to help you with anything you need. In MPA, all of our classes are named after areas of Bristol and our two reception classes are Fishponds class and Kingswood class. And your child will be in one of these classes. Here are the reception staff who are going to be working in Fishponds class this year. Mrs Lizzie Armstrong, the class teacher, Mrs Carol Reynolds, a nursery nurse and Mrs Hannah Bennett, a learning support assistant. And here are the Kingswood staff. Miss Cretia Hazelwood, teacher, Mrs Christine Hyam, nursery nurse, and Miss Anita Lestrange, learning support assistant. As the two classes share many resources and work across both rooms, and also share the outside space, your child will get to know all of the staff across the early years phase. Here are some photos of Fishpond's class that you can share with your child. And some photos of Kingswood class too. And I'll share with you now some of the kinds of activities that your child will enjoy at school. This slide shows discovery time. Every day the children have discovery time, which is their opportunity to learn through play and follow their own interests. And here are some more examples of exciting activities at discovery time. Here are some photos of our amazing outside area, which children access throughout the day. This outside area is specifically for the children in reception and nursery. Our outdoor area is an important part of our learning environment. We focus on our gross motor skills and large construction. However, there are opportunities to access all the areas of learning as well. This is the outside of the classrooms and this is where you'll drop off and pick up your child each day. The school gate opens at 8.30, classroom doors open at 8.45 and close at 8.55 and school ends at 3.15. Every morning when you come into school, you'll hang your coat and bag on your special peg. It has your name on it. You'll also put your name in the self-registration basket to say whether you are having school dinners or packed lunch. Parents, you are welcome to come in and help with this. We advise that you bring in a pair of spare clothes just in case it's needed. We have access to the outdoors, whatever the weather. This slide will give you an idea of the types of activities which happen each day. This year, of course, we are very aware that your children will have missed much of their time in nursery or preschool. And so teachers will be carefully gauging what the children are ready for and when. And so they will be building up to doing three adult led whole class carpet sessions, daily whole class phonics, discovery time for independent learning, morning snack time with milk and fruit, lunch, story time, and a carousel of activities where children spend some focus time at a learning station. Phonics is a way of teaching reading. Your child will be taught two crucial things when they're learning to read using phonics. One, 
how sounds are represented using written letters. For example, they will be taught that the letter S represents a S sound. 2. How sounds can be blended together to make words. For example, they will be taught that the letters C, A, T make the sounds K, A, T, which blend together to make the word cat. Your child will be taught to read letters or groups of letters by saying the sound or sounds they represent. For example, they'll be taught that the letter L makes the sound L. Your child will then start to blend sounds together to make words. Phonics is taught in a whole class daily session in reception and we follow the letters and sounds scheme of work and cover phases one, two, three and four during the course of the year. Maths is taught through play-based practical activities and you can see some of them in these photos. This is our school hall where we eat our lunch each day. We also do PE and special assemblies in here too. At lunchtime, you can decide whether you'd like to have a school dinner or a packed lunch. You can decide what you're having each day and you can swap between the two. Parents, please let us know if your child has any specific allergies. Remember that children in reception, year one and year two are entitled to a free school meal every day. If you are sending in a packed lunch, please be aware that we are a nut free school because we have several children with allergies. We have an amazing new playground at the back of the school, which is still being added to. And when the reception children are ready, they can play in this playground at lunchtime. There are child friendly toilets in between Fishpond's classroom and Kingswood's classroom. So this is all about our uniform at Minerva Primary Academy. Our uniform consists of a blue sweatshirt with the school badge, black bottoms, school trousers, school skirt or pinafore, black shoes, velcro please, trainers are allowed if they are plain black all over, a white polo shirt or school style shirt with collar, black hijab or headscarf, a blue book bag with a school badge, and jewellery if worn is only to be plain stud earrings and a simple watch and these will need to be removed for PE for health and safety reasons. The uniform items such as black trousers and skirts and the white polo shirts are all wide, widely available at a reasonable price in supermarkets and a range of non-specialist shops. Our Minerva sweatshirts and book bags are available for purchase from Initially Yours, which is near the ambulance station on Soundwell Road. And this is a plea from the teachers. Please, please name everything. It's really hard when every single child in the class is wearing exactly the same jumper if someone loses theirs. So please name everything because we can always find the owner of a missing item if it's named. We have wraparound care available at school from 7.45 before school and from 3.15 to 6pm after school. The school office has details of costs. At the moment, our wraparound care has been suspended because of the COVID-19 pandemic. So um, if you're interested in this, please do keep in touch with the office and we will let you know when our wraparound care is up and running again. Here are the details about how to contact us. The school's phone number is 0117 377 2990. And if no one's available to answer when you call us, you can leave a voicemail for us and someone will contact you. Or you can email us on info at mpa.cabot.ac.uk and we will respond to your inquiry via email or phone. We will communicate with you in lots of ways. First of all, there's our Minerva newsletter, which goes out once a fortnight. Um, we also have a texting service, so you can expect to receive texts from us. We do phone calls and sometimes we may email you. Um, keep your eye on our website, minervaprimaryacademy.clf.uk. And we also have a Twitter account, 
which is at Minerva CLF. And we also have a YouTube channel, which is MPA YouTube. So what can you do to prepare your child for school? First of all, toileting. We would expect all children to be able to use the toilet independently and be clean most of the time when at school. But we do know that accidents happen sometimes, so please pack some spare clothes just in case. Dressing. You can practice dressing and undressing in school uniform, including shoes and socks, and this will really help when we start PE. And don't forget to practice taking your coat on and off, including zips and buttons. Our top tip here is that Velcro shoes are much easier for children to use. You might like to do some sharing of stories at home. This is a fantastic way to develop listening skills and language. Ask questions as you read, talk about the pictures and encourage your child to join in with the repeated refrains. Name recognition. This will help your child to recognise their peg and draw label. And counting. You can do this in so many ways. Counting stairs as you go up, counting plates for dinner, counting items in your shopping bag, etc. Exposure to number and counting will support future learning. So here are some frequently asked questions. Where do I drop off my child on their first day? There will be staff members at the main school gate entrance to direct you to the doors through the reception garden and you will enter via our cloakroom entrance. What will my child need to bring to school? We recommend a change of clothes, a coat, wellies in wet weather and a book bag, all named. We access the outdoor area every opportunity, so we encourage children to bring a coat to school every day. What if my child has trouble settling in? Well, we're really lucky in reception to take the time your child needs to settle into school life. We have a wealth of experienced staff that will ensure we make the experience as positive for your child as we can. Please feel free to speak with your class teacher if you are at all concerned. Do I need to provide a snack? No, unless your child has a specific allergy. Children in reception have milk and a piece of fruit provided every morning. Apples, bananas, pears, oranges, strawberries once a year and raisins. Milk is provided until your child's fifth birthday and you can then pay for milk. Chat with the office staff if you would like further information. We encourage children to bring a named water bottle to help themselves to water throughout the day. How do I tell you who is collecting my child from school? We're really fortunate that we have daily contact with parents each morning. However, if someone other than you will be the person to collect your child, we do need to know. For a short notice collection, please phone the office to inform us who will collect and the office will let the class teacher know. If you do know in advance that you are expecting someone else to collect your child, then please, where possible, introduce the person to your child's class teacher. If we are in any doubt, please be patient as your child's safety is paramount and we will always call you as the parent for confirmation before we let your child leave. When will my child have PE? We start PE lessons when the children are in school full time. We have a PE lesson once a week. The uniform for PE is a white t-shirt and black joggers or shorts or leggings. No earrings, please. What if my child still has accidents? Please don't worry. Starting school is a big change for lots of children. All we ask is that you bring a change of clothes in a named bag and we will ensure your child is changed and dry. We have lots of times in the day where we encourage children to use the toilet and they are free to go whenever they need to. If you are concerned at all, please speak with your child's class teacher. How can I support my child's learning? How about homework? We are all in this together and working as a team is a vital part of your child's learning. We do encourage you as parents to read with your child daily and to log it in their reading book. As the year progresses, we begin to send out sounds taught in phonics and number talk. Above all, read and share stories with your children to develop a love of reading. What if my child is sick? Please ring the office on the first morning that your child is sick. 
when our reading books sent home and changed. Reading books are sent home when the children are in full time. A member of staff will read with your child once a week and we will change the book at this time. If you have read your book several times and you'd like to change it, you are welcome to pop in and change it with your child at the end of the day. So, what if you have more questions or you need more clarification? We're going to add a frequently asked questions section to the website on June the 15th. If you have any questions, please email them to us by the 11th of June and we will add them to the list. If your question is more personal to your child or your circumstances, then please email or phone and we will direct your question to the most appropriate person who will then contact you with an answer. So all that remains is for me to say how much we are all looking forward to welcoming you and your child to our reception classes. You will have received our proposed timetable for induction in September. But as the current situation keeps changing, we will let you know of any changes as soon as we can.